and welcome to the show, The Nepal Kaziah. So I'll be doing a reaction video to R. Kelly, I Admit It. Now, word is, allegedly, this is his song he made while his ass is locked up in prison for his sex crimes. But he admit that this is not him. Wasn't me. Saw me banging on the sofa. It wasn't me. I even had her in the shower. It wasn't me. This wasn't him. Let's get into the song, okay? You be the judge and I will be the judge of this musician behind this song. If this is really R. Kelly or a fraud, all right? Let's get into it. Let's go. I admit I done made some mistakes. And I have some imperfect ways. I admit I helped so many people. And them same damn people turn fake. I admit it was so hard to focus. I didn't go to classes. I admit that I... Okay, right off the rip, I mean, it sounds like R. Kelly. Now, <laughs> to be honest, we all have lookalikes, right? That's just a fact. Okay, you're going to see someone look just like you, all right? I'm talking about literally just like you. Like, we have clones out here. Well, it seems like we got some type of clone, but we all have a lookalike. And there's people that sound like us, dress like us, walk like us, everything, imitate everything like us. There is someone that could possibly sound like R. Kelly. Possibly, okay? And you do a little tweaking. Hey, with technology these days, man, I'm telling you, you just never know what you can do or as how far you can go. But this sound like R. Kelly. I'm just being honest. Come on. I dropped out of school. I admit that I wasn't that cool. I admit I just feel like retiring. Admit I just don't feel like trying. But all my real niggas around me keep telling me, Kels, fuck that you gotta keep climbing. I admit it, I admit it, I did. I done fuck with a couple of fans. I admit I'm a gift and a curse. I admit that I don't go to church. I admit it, I admit it. I admit it, I did it. I admit it, I did. I admit it, I did, did it. I admit I got so many flaws. Told so many lies to these pros. Lose so much money, pop so many bottles. Yeah, I fuck a bitch just because. Nigga, I had a hell of a day. But I admit I was in my own way. I admit I had my mama crying over me. What else can a nigga say? I admit I can't spell for shit. I admit that all I hear is hits. I admit I couldn't read the teleprompter when the Grammys asked me to present. I admit I love God, but wait. It's so much temptation, but wait. Admit to the drinking and smoking too much, but it helped me get through the day. Won't say no names, I'm not a snitch. But one night at the ribs, I did some shit I shouldn't have did. When it fucked a nigga's bitch, I admit, I admit that I did. I fuck my girlfriend's best friend. Yeah, I tap that in back of my pants. I admit I'm sorry for my sins. I admit it, I admit it. I admit it, I did it. I admit it, I did. I admit. What y'all think so far? What do you think so far? This is R. Kelly or imposter? What you think? This guy's putting out a lot of information. Talking about he slept with his girlfriend, friend, and what the... Um, oh, my goodness. And this is right when this guy's supposed to be doing an appeal. Okay? He's filing an appeal. He's trying to, you know, fight his case. So why would you put out a song, I Admit It, while you're trying to fight a case and you have a lawyer that's backing you and everything so all her hard work is going down the drain? You want to embarrass her and your whole legal team like this? I don't know, you guys. What you think? Let's keep going. I did, I did, did it. Yeah. I admit I trust people too much. Too much, too much, too much. I admit I can't say such and such. But my lawyers told me settle this. Even though it's bullshit. Kelly protect your career. All these people in my ear. I admit I've been tempted by drugs. I admit that I just need a hug. I admit the devil talked to me sometimes. But the devil's not who I trust. I've been fucked by so many dumb managers. Why they push me out front of these cameras? All this music got in to them and let it Play me like a fucking amateur. I got a life, yeah. I got a right, yeah. Cancel my shows. That shit ain't right. How they 
don't say I don't respect these women when all I've done is represent. Take my career and turn it upside down, cause you're mad I've got some girlfriends. Hell with this record deal. It ain't worth this shit for real. I ain't seen my kids in years. They try and lock me up like Bill. How much can a nigga take? How much can a nigga pray? Just wanna do my music, stop stressing me. Please just let me age gracefully. I admit it, I admit it. I admit it, I did 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 it. They took my gift and they blind me. Where in the fuck is my money? Now here come this big ass conspiracy. But still got my fans, that's a blessing. Listen to heaven, just stay on my grind and that's 24-7 yeah. And I know my mama Joanne is smiling down on me, I put that on Reverend uh-uh. Been a grown man since age 11, 11. Mine on the guap since 7, seven. Rest in peace to my homie, Kevin yeah. I admit, I admit, I admit I admit, I admit, I admit Wow Mm, 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 mm Whew. All right. <laughs> what do you guys think? Mm, 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 mm. Like I was saying earlier, he must be a fool to come out with a song titled I Admit It or a whole album, I Admit It. <laughs> Were you trying to prove your innocence? What sense does that make? You must be mental if you think you can try to fight a case to prove your innocence, but then yeah, you talking about you admit it. So what you admitting? Your guilt? You know what I'm saying? You not you can't admit you're innocent if you know if you're confessing in your song to all the atrocious behaviors you participated in. Like, Kel, this is going on. So again, he's saying that it's not him. I want to play a snippet of a voice recording of R. Kelly admitting that this isn't him. All right, let's go. Um, apparently somebody that I think an album called I Admit It and put it out there as if it was me putting it out. And I'm not putting out any albums. I haven't put out any albums. Don't, you know, I'm not even having any interest in putting out any albums because my only focus is the appeal and everything else. But it seems like somebody wants this album out to mess with the appeal because why would I put an album out called I Admit It? Okay, so that's right there. It makes no damn sense. So I just want people to know it, and, and, and Jennifer and let people know it, whoever to let them know that that's not my album. I would even put an album out right now while I'm dealing with all of this stuff anyway. Okay, and I hope people recognize my voice and know that. Okay. So, um, yeah, that, you know, and um, I, I wish they would find out who did it and, and who was putting it out there, because they also, on top of that, they're probably making money off of it. And, um... It's just, it's just messed up and then it happens to come at the time I'm working on my appeal that an album comes out that's supposed to be for me called I Admit It. It just, it just all just, it's just really just fucked up. It just really is, man. And if, um, you know, I'm standing here looking in the mirror saying damn to myself, I should have known the day would come. So you guys heard that recording, all right? So he's saying that it's not him. He's saying that someone's trying to mess with his appeal and mess with his case and just basically just trying to destroy and just distort everything he's just trying to put together to get his ass free up out of that jail cell, all right? And then you hear him singing, (laughs) singing his lyrics to When a Woman is Fed Up, which is one of his best songs, one of his best classical songs, one of his best classical songs. And he's just letting us know if we could just differentiate between him and the person in this I Admit It song. Okay. So again, I don't really hear much of a difference. Mm, The person do sound just like R. Kelly, but then again, you know, you just never know. If he say it ain't him, you know, I don't know. (laughs) 
anyway, this is crazy. This is real, real, real crazy, okay? But see, when y'all live a certain type of lifestyle and you think it'll come back to bite you, think twice again. Think twice again. That's why you have to watch what you say, watch what you do. The effect of your decision, the effect of your bad decision may not come back to bite you in your butt right there and then. It could take days. It could take weeks. It could take months. It could take years. When you hear people going through certain situations based on the decision they made, take heed to what they went through. Make sure you apply the contrary and make sure you don't indulge in the same lifestyle or make the same decision that they made, okay? So we got to pay attention to other people's lives too because what their mistakes can teach us so we don't have to make that same mistake, okay? So anyway, tell me what you guys think about R. Kelly, I Admit It song or allegedly R. Hit Kelly, the like I button. Admit It song. Hit the like button. Most how will I'll be back with some more commentary. Bye.